Gustav Eden was always a great athlete, but for the longest time, he remained whiskers away from becoming a champion. This changed in 2019 when the man who usually came second finally bagged his first elite title. When Gustav Eden arrived at the 70.3 World Championship with a road bike, a few commentators did not take him seriously. But by the time the competition ended, they had no option but to take him seriously. Gustav Eden's victory at the 2019 Ironman 70.3 World Championship stunned many fans as well as experts as he was not quite expected to end up with the title. That triumph made him the youngest ever Ironman World Champion. The Norwegian has followed it up with one great performance after another and is currently ranked as the best triathlete in the world. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. Winning is a choice. That's what Eden says he believes in, and so far, he's proving it right with his exceptional run of performances. These performances are, of course, commendable, but what is even more commendable is the process and the story that is behind these. The story of how Gustav Eden became Gustav Eden. In this video, we will be taking you through his journey, how from being a good athlete, Eden jumped to the next level, becoming the first ranked triathlete in the world. Gustav was born in 1996 in Bergen, Norway. From his childhood, Eden was involved in competitive sports. One can easily attribute most of his athletic qualities to his upbringing and the effort he put in at the very beginning of his athletic life. The success story began in 2014 when he won an age group sprint distance championship in London. His first national title was in 2014 when he won the title of both triathlon and duathlon. In the following year's junior world championships, Eden gained a top 10 finish. The Norwegian featured in his first triathlon in 2006 at the Youth National Cycling Championships. At that point, the father of Jorgen Gunderson was teaching him how triathlon works and the other things which needed to be known about the sport. He already had a cycling background. He was a talented cyclist from the beginning. His father was a local youth cycling coach so there was a very big chance that he could become an elite cyclist. He used to partner up with the odd Christian Eiking, who was at the Tour de France. However, according to him, he could not win any national championships in his age group, but was always on the podium. This was what he worked on at a young age. He was never satisfied with being the second best. He wanted to be the best and did all the hard work that was needed to be the best. The biggest moment for Eden came when he turned 16. At just 16 years of age, Eden won a huge six-day tour called the U6. He was the front runner in his class, and that was the biggest push for him. As the confidence grew, Eden also started winning in other disciplines. The youngster soon won junior nationals in cross-country running and the 2,000-meter steeplechase. All these achievements at a young age were enough to sense potential in his skills. It was only a matter of time until he released his potential on the bigger stage. When cycling came naturally to him, and running was another part of his youth life, one thing he really was not quite familiar with was swimming. But he did what all great athletes do, work harder on their skills. He changed his practice sessions to develop his swimming skills. From longer threshold sessions, the Norwegian has now shifted to harder race pace sessions. His transition to the next level was challenging and he first started finding consistency in 2017. He also achieved his first World Cup gold in the same year due to his exceptional ride and run. The next season, he bettered his performances. After multiple top 10 finishes, he helped Norway create another record. In the 2018 season, he shared the podium with his team making Norway the first country to sweep the men's WTS podium. His consistent performances at Abu Dhabi, Bermuda, and after that second place finish in Bahrain ensured that the world now looked at him as a potential superstar. The status he finally achieved in 2019 after winning the Ironman 70.3 World Championship, he left behind some of the best in the field to storm to the title, becoming the youngest man to ever do so. In 2021, he again won the Ironman 70.3 Championship to cement his place at the top. Before for that, an amazing victory at the PTO 2020 Championship propelled his case of being one of the best right now. Apart from being an athlete of the highest level, Eden used to play the guitar in his school days. He was part of a band and knew how to play the bass guitar very well. He even went to perform with his band at concerts and studios. He still has that guitar, but he hardly plays it now. Another one of his skills, or what he prefers to call a hobby, is photography. He also shared his camera setup in an interview. The Norwegian uses a Sony A6 
27 3 with an 85mm f1.8 lens. The 25-year-old is among the most popular faces in triathlon and pockets a heavy amount of money. According to various estimates, his net worth could be anywhere between 7 to 10 million. In December 2021, he got a cash prize of $100,000 for topping the ranking charts in triathlon. This is his primary source of income. The winning mentality helps him win championships and that further helps him earn a lot of money. And that ends our video for today. We do hope that you know more about the future of the triathlon sport, Gustav Eden. Thank you for watching and staying with me up until the end. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so you'll be updated on my next upload. Take care, everyone. Bye.